Hello YouTube. This is um Red Fire, and today I'll be making a video about um how to reprogram your gear indicator on your motorbike. I did a video a while, a couple of months ago, about how to install, and um there someone said they can't pass the second gear, so I'm gonna try and I'm gonna show you guys how I re program my gear indicator when if it's not working properly some people might have a different way might have different ways of doing it but that's the way i was taught and that's the way i'm gonna show you guys so let's get let's go to the motorbike okay i'm gonna try and learn i'm gonna try and program the gears on my yamaha r1 in the left corner here in the left corner is gear indicator. At the moment, it's not um, reading the right gears. So I wanna change, it's a six speed gear indicator here. So I'm gonna try and program it. I'm gonna turn the keys seven times. One, two, three, four, five, Six. See, there's an L blinking. I'm gonna start the bike and let it chuckle tr for a bit. See, the hell is blinking faster. I'm gonna try and program the gear now. See, now it's blinking one. That means I'm ready to go. So, I'm gonna find a straight piece of road and I'm gonna ride. So, I'm going to try and see if I can get to program. Just watch the gear indicator. The gear indicator on the left side. What's happened? So, I'm putting one gear. One gear blinking. Say, when I go two gear. So when I go three gear, three gear is select. You see that like half a hand, four gear is select. See that like half a hand is on five gear now. You see that half a hand, six gear. Six gear is select. So that's how you program your, your gear indicator. So now I'm in six gear. The six gears are selected. So you start, you spin the key about seven times until you get a, like um, a C and then you'll get like a hell and when you get the hell that's when the gear is ready to be programmed start your bike and let your bike chuckle a bit leave it running for a bit and then you'll see the one gear when you get a straight you need to keep the rev above three thousand when you're changing gear so you start to ride you see the one gear and then you see like an n that means you see an n that means the gear has been um stored and then you go up in second gear and then you rev until you see the end that means the second gear has been stored then you go up again to third gear and you see an end and you continue till you reach the sixth gear and that's how you program your gear indicator and I'm reprogram a gear indicator on a motorbike so that's how I reprogram mine if it's not working so if you try and if you install a gear indicator and it's only going to us um, a certain number instead of going from all the way from one to six you can turn the key seven times or eight times until you see like a c or just like a l let's try it seven times or, or seven times or um, eight times and then you um start your bike you see a l in the l you start your bike and after starting your bike let it run for a while and you see the one selected then you start to ride on a clear straight where there's not much traffic and you can start to program your indicator go from one upwards to six every time a gear is being selected and stored in the indicator memory you'll see like an n and that means you, you can change to the next gear in sequence See, I'm in second gear now. You show me I'm in second gear. 
And I'm gonna go with the third gear. See, third gear. Fourth gear, see? Fifth gear, see the fifth, five? So that's how you program your gear indicator. I reprogram your gear indicator. This is my Yamaha RR1. I have um, a, um, uh, I have like tracking device installed on my bike. I have um, alarm system. So I'm just gonna show you. You see, this is the key for the alarm system. So if I press this button, you see, it's being activated, and there's like um, a sensor, 360 degree sensor around the bike. So if I should go, anyone should go close to the bike and it should, the alarm should go off. That's the alarm going off. That's to say, that's to say that there's somebody standing too close to the bike and it, it will like make the sound for a couple of seconds and go off, turn off, deactivate. And if somebody should go back again, it's going to reactivate and it's going to even get louder and it doesn't stop. And um, I'm going to show you guys my tracking device, but I can't show you guys where I've installed it. That's it. This bike is being reactivated by itself. After you have to press like one, two, three, so it stay off. So I'm going to show you guys a tracking device. So it's an offline finder here. That's a tracking device, so that's where my bike is at the moment. So you see, I'm home, and um, normally that's where I'm at. And I could put like a circle around, so if somebody should take the bike away, the if it leave that circumference, the bike is going to make. I'm gonna get the alarm. I'm gonna make get 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 a uh, ears circumference. Press save, and there should be a circumference around where the bike is. I'm gonna try and change it. Circle, put rectangle, press save. Save. So the bike is within here, within this rectangle. You can make the rectangle smaller, but if the bike should leave this rectangle, you're gonna get a message on your phone. And if somebody should steal a bike and driving more than 20 miles per hour, you're going to get an alarm on your phone as well because I set it like that for 20 miles an hour. And you can see there's an alarms notification speed, more than 20 miles speed. And there are different type of notification. Shock, so it's been shaked, it's moved, so you can tell you. So you get, you get, you get, you get loads of different type of notifications. So the bike, see the bike is in the rectangle. So if somebody should come and take the bike outside this rectangle, then I'll get an alarm to say the bike has left the rectangle. So that's my tracking device and I've, so yeah, this is my baby with HID headlights. Baby with HID headlights. 
see the light see it and they're very bright you know so that's her she'll be going inside the end of this month she'll be going inside the workshop to be checked and um, once over so there's nothing wrong with her so any question just comment subscribe and yeah that's me red fire